Beckoning Stone and Burst Core. What are these items and how do you use them? Well, they're pretty simple, but very powerful. You know how you grind for hours and hours on crests and hoping to get a four plus, but never do? That's where these two items come in. They can somewhat help you get a four plus to an extent. Well, specifically the Beckon Stone. The Beckon Stone's able to boost high level crest drops and have palace energy for 30 minutes. Now, how much is that boost? No one knows. We don't have access to the game's code, so there's no way for us to actually know the exact increase um, unless they come out and tell us the exact increase. As for the other thing, which is the burst core, that's a lot more simple to do. If you don't know what crest bursting is, that's where you take a level four crest and it is able to burst into a level five crest. This is what the Nova crest palaces are kind of used for because um, there's no other reason to really play the Nova crest palace. However, with this new item, the burst core, it pretty much guarantees that you get a five plus or you get a level four to a level five. Now, the thing that this burst core will not do is that it will not turn a level four into a five plus. It can only turn a four plus into a five plus, or it can only turn a level four into a level five. Both these items are extremely simple to use, right? Very straight to the point, very self-explanatory. If you want to know like the best way to utilize these items, I'll tell you. And this specifically more so goes for the beck and stone than anything else. Now, the way that you make this as efficient as possible is by using the beck and stone during half off and to utilize the beckon stone on the crest palace that you can clear the fastest if you're really trying to optimize it because the thing about this is that it activates for 30 minutes which is cool but the thing is that it's going to be a constant timer it's not 30 minutes in a quest it's 30 minutes in total 30 minutes of the server time that counts for you loading in and out of a quest that counts for you seeing the reward screen and you just need to do whatever you can to make it as fast as possible so you can get the most amount of benefit out of the beck and stone because the beck and stone is a little bit of a game of chance you make it something or you make it nothing i actually used one and i tried to do it on the extreme crest palace and i did this for 30 minutes i got in about 22 runs i know pretty pathetic for this one this team is a little bit slower since we are using genos for the xp but after all that we got a whole lot of nothing it started off strong with the level four and i'm like oh okay well if i just get a bunch of level four so I can get a bunch of crest fragments that are level fours. That's fine with me. No, no, I got absolute shaft. Of course, it is all luck and buffing up your rates, even if it's not by a crazy amount, would still be better than just going at it with the base rates. Either way, that's all I have to say about the beckoning stone and the burst core. I hope this video helped all you guys. If you guys have any more questions about the beckoning stones or the burst cores, you can, of course, leave them down below in the comment section. I would love to read them and love to answer them. Or if you guys in the community want to help answer them too, of course, would love to have that help as well down below in the comment section. Either way, thank you all for hanging out. It's me, Boy P. I'm about to go and uh, not grind crest palaces because it's not half off but whenever it's half off i will be using these beckon stones and the half off to my advantage either way thank you guys for hanging out and last but not least you guys already know don't forget to drink water